Hi guys, this is Brian from Bring More Popcorn Productions bringing you another LEGO minifigure close-up video. In this episode, I'm showcasing Azog, Yaznig, and the White Ward from my Hobbit collection. Let's take a look at Yaznig first. Now before I tell you what I think about these minifigures, I'd like to tell you why we got Yaznig with the White Ward and not Azog. It's because Yaznig was one of the original designs for Azog. Yep, that's right. This guy right here was almost Azog in the film. I personally am really glad they changed him because I'm not a big fan of Yasnik's design. Anyways, back to the Yasnik minifigure. In comparison to the film, I think overall they really captured the look of Yasnik. I love his spiky shoulder pads and I think the idea of a bone axe is very clever. His printing is very accurate to what we see in the film. There's not much else to say about this guy. Good job, Lego. <laughs> now let's take a look at the real Azog. He's got a custom molded headpiece, which I think is outstanding. It really gives him a larger than life feel when you compare him to the other LEGO orcs. And I think his weapon, though, has a lot to be desired from it. Some of the custom weapons I've seen online are much more accurate to the film. I guess I can always modify this later if I want to. Taking off his head, we can see there's a bit more printing on his front. This is a great move by LEGO. We can use this torso on another minifigure and it won't look so odd. And probably my favorite part about this Azog minifigure is his claw hand. I'm really glad they gave him this, instead of maybe a standard black hand, which would have been kind of, eh, not so great. Woof woof! Okay, here's the white warg that came in the set with our Yaznak figure. I just have to say, wow, LEGO's design for the wargs is outstanding. I also love that LEGO has made brown and gray wargs too, it's just, it's super duper cool. The only thing I think I can say about this guy right here though, is that I really wish that his nose was a little bit deeper color red. He looks a bit too much like Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. But I still love him overall, he's a must own for any LEGO Hobbit fan. Anyways, thanks for watching guys, please like, subscribe and comment. I've got more minifigure close ups on the way, as well as more custom minifigure videos, and some LEGO stop motion shorts in the future. I'm Brian from Bring More Popcorn Productions, see you next time.